ever say to somebody, I'm gonna tell you something, I'll tell you later, and it bothers them. Yeah. That's what jail's like, because you might think of something, doesn't matter what it is, I won't say what my thought was, but I'll give you an example. Let's say I, I thought, when did Constantinople fall? What year? Mm. I can't just Google it. Nope. I don't know. So it's stuck in your head, right? So if you have this negative thought, <laughs> you don't know the answer. Normally in life, when you want to know something, you find out. But in jail, you don't. <laughs> so you're like, I don't know. I, I, you got this in your head, and you're like, I can't get this out of my head. So when you have a negative thought, yeah. especially if there's an open loop to it, you need to know something or you want to know something. Hmm. I call them time travelers. That's if a that good, makes sense. That's a good way to look at it. Like, for instance, um, when my brother got locked up, he was he was gone for 10 years. And when he came back, he missed a lot. He missed the Twin Towers getting hit. He missed the iPhone. He missed um, social media. Like, he came in and as if he was like a, you know, a 10-year-old. Like an alien 2010. to a new planet. Yeah, everything was just new. You know, everything started changing. Like, we got self 